Hey everybody, Tom Joya from Visionary Music Group here. Hope you're doing great. Continuing with our top 20 mix series, mix tip number 13. Use high and low pass filters. If you ever notice, if you listen to mixes by some of the great mixers, everything sounds so clean and even and it sounds like it has a place. That's because there's nothing in their mixes that doesn't have a place. So if you went through your mixes and just soloed everything, one instrument at a time, and you took a filter and rolled out as much low end as you can, and you did the same thing on the high end, so it's not disturbing the sound, all of a sudden you'll start to realize just when you put it up, everything sounds clearer. Like for me, I take the Fab Filter Pro Q2, and I put that on all my tracks, and I just really quick sweep up the bottom, sweep down the highs, soloed. So now I know that everything's clean. Let's take that a step further. Let's say you have some really good detuned guitars and they're big and they're bad, but I don't know, you can't make out the low end of the bass now because you hear them. You could solo the guitars and the bass that are interacting and then figure out, oh, I got to filter out the guitar a little bit. Or you could leave everything on and filter it out to make room. Same thing with the bass and the kick. Same thing with something that's got a lot of high end that's having activity with other parts in the high end. So you can sort of high and low pass filter it soloed and then maybe high and low pass filter them in groups or do it with everything in and see how your mix changes. It's a good experiment and it's, it's a good practice. So use your high and low pass filters to clean up your mix and make room for things. Hang low Silence in all its weight Won't let me go Honestly 